So, people always say to us when we started New Species about 20 years ago, as a charitable foundation, we were helping thousands of people around the world with health issues like diseases like blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, cancer, tumors, cysts, uh, men's health issues, sickle cell, women's health, health uh, issues. And when we started out, the mission was to make these people, help these people to live better, help them to live longer. And people say, nutrition can't do that. You need medication to do that. Well, when we started out as a corporation 12 years ago, we started having thousands of people who came to us from all over the world. And we started as, a, as an internet business and Soon after we had to open offices because we got so busy, we grew so fast. We grew way too fast in my opinion, but we were still able to help thousands of people with you know, all these different health issues. But what was funny was that people would say to us, it's impossible. There's no way you can use plant extracts, even if they're organic, even if they're raw, even if they're natural, to help people to live better, to live longer help people with cancer, help people with high blood pressure or hypertension, help people with diabetes. But guess what? We did. And we far exceeded even our expectations at New Species. Now, when we started out with New Planets about seven years ago, and we told people we we're going to build a machine that could generate hundreds of thousands of volts if needed. We weren't even thinking about power in the home. We we're thinking about how can we make the planet better? How can we make it safer? How can we protect our habitat? Um, a lot of the herbs and plants and whole foods that we have in our new species nutrition, we were worried and we are still worried that a lot of those plants would go into extinction. And that's how we started out, because we know that something was wrong in the environment. Where we live, we see species of trees, species of maple that just died out completely. All in, a, in the air, within 10, 20 square miles, they all died out. So this is how the uh, new planet came about. So we built this machine, and now it generates electricity. I hope you all have seen phase one, where we were able to power this vacuum, which is about 10 amps, this space heater. And over here we have some light bulbs. You know, each one is 300 watts. Um, we're getting maybe 12, 0.5 to 13 amps from the light bulbs uh, by themselves and again the VAC 10 amps. We didn't put a lot of uh, um, different appliances on the, on the machine but today we want to show you a new installment of what we're doing. The machine now has a new skin and this ultimately may not even be the skin that the machine is going to have in the end. But again, just to reiterate what I said before, this machine does not use fossil fuels, doesn't use oil, doesn't use gas, doesn't use water, doesn't use chemicals, doesn't use hydrogen. It used God's own or the Earth's own metals. And that's what we are using in there with mechanical force to generate the kind of power um, that we generate now. Now, it can be scaled down and it can be scaled up. It can power a home, it can power a building, you know, it can power a lot of things. Naturally, if, if this can power um, a home, naturally, it should be able to power a building of any size. It should be able to power anything. In this machine, we have what we call a centrifuge. We have one. We can put as many centrifuges in there as we want to. Um, that's a, the centrifuge is a power center, that's where it powers um, the electricity is generated. So we can put as many as we want to put in there. And because we can do that, 
we can you know generate a lot of power now the we're using 10 gauge wire in there we could use 18 gauge wire we could use 14 we could use 6 we could use 2 gauge wire um, we use uh, 10 gauge wire in here because um, we believe that was a good good balance and we get good amperage from that but we could use less we could use more but the bottom line is that we can generate as much or as many volts as we want to generate we can generate as many watts as we want to generate we can generate a lot of amperage probably as many as we want to generate depending on how large we want to build a machine we could build a machine as big as this building and naturally if we can get 100 amps from this machine we should be able to get thousands tens of thousands of amps probably hundreds hundreds of thousands of amps from a machine as big as this building so that's where we are now a lot of you have questions about you know the first installment or the, or, or the or phase one a lot of the questions i get from you is this really possible do you have a, a gas generator buried in here somehow uh come on folks um what we tell you what we tell you is true and again I take it back to new species nutrition we're helping thousands of people with diabetes with blood pressure in many cases the doctors are telling people they don't have these issues anymore we're not saying it we're not doctors um, at new species at least doing diagnosis people's own family doctors were doing all, all those uh, medical exams so we have helped thousands of people we were told we couldn't do it and we're going to tell you now we are going to be able to use this you know, to help global warming if people are interested in having one in their home or otherwise uh, to help with the environment. And of course, if you get one, you'll be able to save a lot of money. It can heat your home. It powers your home with, you know, you, have, you, have to, you, you make no changes to your home. And, um, and this will last a lifetime with very minimal uh, maintenance. As to the price, this is one of the big questions I get from people in the, fir in the first phase. Price, we don't know yet, but it's not gonna be very expensive. We're gonna make it such that everyone, hopefully, can afford one. So now we're gonna power it up and we we, we powered some, some, some items, some appliances in the first installment. Now we're going to power a few of the other wholesale installments, uh, uh, appliances rather, in this installment. So let's power it up. So you're going to hear some noise. And the ultimate machine, the one that goes to market, will, 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 will make no sound. There will be absolutely no sound from that machine. This is a prototype. And the skin of this is very light, so you're gonna hear a little vibration, it's still the shaking. So we just covered it up so we can keep our proprietary um, configuration and engineering uh, proprietary until we're ready to release it to the world. So let's power it up. So what I'm doing now is getting the mechanical force to be revved up so that we're going to create a chain reaction in the centrifuge where electricity is generated. So I just created a chain reaction and then you're going to have numerous other chain reactions in the centrifuge and at the end of the last chain reaction, let's say we started with
for this. The light is on. And the lights are on. So now we're powering both of these. We want to plug the heater in again. We can plug it in. Um, actually, it's plugged in already. So, turn it on. Nothing underneath. And this wire was plugged, plugged, plugged into wall. here. Okay. And that's what we plugged it out. It was plugged in there. Mm -hmm. And that's what we plugged out. So that was the only wire that was plugged into the machine for the breaker box. Nothing over here. Nothing underneath. And the breaker box isn't plugged into anything either. And breaker boxes only plugged in to appliances alrighty so thank you all for watching and I look forward to talking with a lot of you but we're also planning to work with the energy company so that we can produce or manufacture electricity that they can use instead of using coal or oil or gas. So that's the plan. We're gonna work with the utilities companies. We're not looking to put anyone out of business. We're looking to work with them so that we all can work together to fix the environment, to fix our only home.